Hi there, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM and another Friday night in July spent watching John Ford movies. Up next, the last feature film Ford directed from 1966, Seven Women. John Ford had one of the most enduring and prolific careers of any director in Hollywood history. Directed his first feature in 1917, five decades before wrapping it up with the movie we're about to see. By the time John Ford was done, he directed more than 140 pictures. Though he is appropriately identified with westerns, Stagecoach, My Darling Clementine, She Wore a Yellow Ribbon, The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, The Searchers, certainly. Westerns constituted just a third of his total output. Always worth remembering that of Ford's four Oscars for Best Director, not one is for a Western. So in one way, Seven Women is an appropriate last picture for Ford because it isn't a Western, a reminder that he wasn't at all a genre director. In many other ways, though, Seven Women is an atypical John Ford movie. As the title suggests, it's a movie about women, a far cry from the macho, male-dominated westerns, war movies, and dramas that make up the Ford canon. Seven Women takes place in 1935 on the border between China and Mongolia, where an American religious mission is set up camp. The mission is led by a repressive headmistress, played by Margaret Layton, who clashes with a new doctor, that's Anne Bancroft. Despite the predominantly female cast, Seven Women does have some resemblance to other Ford films. There's a focus on an isolated outpost threatened by a hostile enemy and characters forced together by a shared, violent environment. The picture reunited Ford with actor Woody Strode, the star of his 1960 drama Sergeant Rutledge. Strode also played supporting roles in Two Road Together and The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance. Ford considered this a worthy final film for him. After retiring, he called it a hell of a good picture. Here it is from 1966, also with Sue Lyon, Flora Robeson, Eddie Albert, and Mike Mazurki, Seven Women. Seven Women was not much of a box office success, but director John Ford was proud of his work. I think it's one of my best, he said. Ford enjoyed himself making the movie, possibly because he knew retirement was just around the corner. Anna Lee, who played Mrs. Russell, described Ford as being charming to everybody on the set, which would make this a highly unusual John Ford picture. Maybe it was the influence of the female cast, or perhaps he was just grateful to be able to finish one last picture, one he was proud of. Ford's health had been declining for years, a symptom certainly of his heavy drinking. On his previous film, Young Cassidy, he had to be replaced early in the production. Ford retired from directing after finishing Seven Women. He died seven years later in 1973, just a few months after being honored as the first recipient of the AFI Life Achievement Award. Up next, TCM heads underground and digs up the big dollhouse, a prison drama from 1971 starring Pam Greer, Judy Brown, and Roberta Collins.